Flatpak apps are becoming increasingly popular as they offer many amazing advantages over traditional apps. They are super easy to install with literally single click installations, they are always up to date with the latest features, they can run on any Linux distribution and they run without any issues because they don't need any external dependencies. They are also sandboxed. This significantly enhances your security and privacy. I've been playing around with Flatpak apps a lot nowadays and with Flatpaks, you get access to thousands of fantastic applications across a range of categories. So in this video, I bring to you 15 fantastic Flatpak applications that you definitely need to have installed on your system. This list is going to get more and more interesting as we progress through the video and I also included some amazing hidden gems. So let's jump right in. Starting off, we have Photopy on number 15. Want Photoshop on Linux? This is exactly what you should get. Photopy is a free and compatible alternative to Adobe Photoshop. Photopy image editor is fast, feature rich and easy to use. Plus, it can open and save PSD files just like Photoshop. And not just Photoshop. Photopy is compatible with Adobe Illustrator, Adobe XD, Sketch and GIMP image editor. It can also edit PDF files, raw photos and pretty much any other image format there is. Photopy is packed with features that rival those of Photoshop. You'll be able to do things like edit layers, add text and effects, retouch photos and a lot more. Now Photopy does have a few features missing, but for most use cases it can be literally Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop is the industry standard for photo editing, but it's not supported on Linux. So you can use Photopy to open and edit your photos in PSD format easily. It's fast and feature rich, yet easy to use. Plus it's completely free. There is a paid plan, but 100% of all these features are available in the free plan. Whether you are a professional photographer or just getting started, Photopea is the perfect tool for all your photo editing needs. You can install Photopea directly from Flathub. Install instructions are given in the description below. We have Video Downloader on number 14. Video Downloader, as the name suggests, is a quick and easy way to download videos from the internet. You can use Video Downloader to download videos from YouTube, Vimeo and other popular video sites. The app is free and simple to use and can be installed directly from Flathub. Once you have installed Video Downloader, all you need to do is enter the URL of the video you want to download. The app will then start downloading the video immediately. You can choose the quality of the video before downloading it, so this is a great option. You can also just download the mp3 audios from videos. Video Downloader is a great way to get high quality videos as it has a very minimal and simple UI, has quality options, it's free and very quick to use. Visual Studio Code is a rich code editor that puts powerful code writing tools right at your fingertips. It is one of the most popular code editors in the world. I personally use VS Code and I think it's an indispensable tool for software professionals. The interface is clean and highly configurable, letting you create a working environment where you feel at home. It has good debugging support and a built-in terminal. VS Code has a huge library of extensions. These extensions can help you work faster and be more efficient. And some of these extensions can be very powerful and they become a part of your workflow. These extensions can not only add functionality to VS Code but can also add aesthetic value. VS Code has a very clean and modern UI which has been designed keeping the developers in mind. VS Code makes you love writing code. In Linux, there is no shortage of code editors, but VS Code is definitely a must-have tool for developers today. RPCS3 is a PlayStation 3 emulator that lets you play PS3 games on your computer. It's a lot of fun and it's a great way to experience some of the best games ever made. RPCS3 has more than 2000 confirmed working PS3 games. Top PS3 titles like God of War, Big Little Planet 3, Call of Duty series and many more can be played on Linux. The installation is straightforward too. You install RPCS3 using the command given in the description below. Download the PS3 firmware from Sony's site, then use either game CDs or game files to install them. The performance is okay too. If you have anything above a hexa-core CPU and a good GPU, you'll get an enjoyable performance. If not, I recommend you try PCSX2 which is a PlayStation 2 emulator and has a much better performance. On number 11, we have Zoom. The pandemic has made it extremely important to have a good online meeting tool and Zoom is one of the best. Zoom is a great online meeting tool that can be used for classes and other meetings. It is simple and very easy to use. And the best part is that you can use it to join meetings without even creating an account. While I primarily use Google Meet for my Linux Live Coaching, Linux Mastery, some students prefer Zoom and I use Zoom for those students. I must say it's very intuitive and a good experience to use. 
Zoom has a very high quality video calling. It has meeting schedule options with calendar sync. It allows you to share your screen. It allows you to use background images for your video calls. Everything you expect from a leading video calling solution, you get with Zoom. By the way, you can book a free demo session with me for my Linux coaching program, Linux Mastery, using the link in the description below. You get a wide range of remote desktop software choices on Linux, but they all require at least a minimal amount of technical knowledge to get started. AnyDesk, on the other hand, is extremely easy to use. AnyDesk is a simple and feature-rich remote desktop application that's available on all platforms and it's completely free to get started with. I've been playing around with AnyDesk on Linux and I'm impressed. With Flatpak, it was easy to install and to connect and remotely control your computer from other devices, may it be other computer, smartphone or tablet, all you need to do is install AnyDesk and put in the code, accept the connection and that's it. AnyDesk is very easy to use with very good performance. I was getting very fast response as well as image quality on my Ubuntu and iPad. AnyDesk also has a sweet file transfer option that lets you quickly and very conveniently transfer files around your devices. It provides a very stable connection and has a high level of security baked in. The biggest edge it has over other remote desktop software is its way of getting started. Even Linux newcomers can jump in and start using it immediately. Definitely a must-have tool. Discord is an app where you connect, connect and connect some more. It is one of the world's most popular communication apps with support for text, voice, video and any other way of communication imaginable. Discord originally gained fame as an app for gamers to communicate. But today, it has grown infinitely more than that. It has become the mainstay on which tens of thousands of communities are built on. Discord makes it easy to create and manage your own server, which can be perfect for communities of all sizes, whether you are a small group of friends or a large organization. Discord has the tools and features you need to stay connected. Discord also provides a very rich communication experience. As I said, it can make video calls, voice calls, send text messages and even share files. The quality here is pretty amazing too and all these things are available for free. So go ahead and install it as a flat pack and be a part of the communications and communities that you enjoy. Love it or hate it, Google Chrome is the most popular browser in the world. It's fast, feature rich and has a ton of great extensions. Chrome provides a fantastic web experience, but it's not available in the official repositories of most Linux distros because Google Chrome is not open source. This also means you'll need to manually download it and install it. Or you can just install it as a flat pack with just a click. Google Chrome Flatpak version is completely isolated from the rest of the system and runs in a sandbox. So the Flatpak version might be a better option for the privacy conscious. Slack is a fantastic collaborative and team chat application that really simplifies team communication. It's an IM that fits all team sizes. You get all the different modes of collaboration you need in one place, from text chats to file sharing to video calls. This makes it the number one choice for teams. Slack is available on all mobile and desktop platforms including web. While using it on web is fine, having a dedicated desktop app is a better experience. Another cool thing about Slack is, it integrates with so many other software products so you can easily keep up with your emails, calendar appointments, file uploads and even development tools like VS Code. It's a fantastic tool that's extensively used by organizations for team communication and the Flatpak version works great. Gnome Boxes is a fantastic virtual machine software for Linux and this is one of my absolute favorites on this list. As an eternal distro hopper, I never can have enough of Linux distributions. While I always install all my Linux distros on bare metal, Gnome Boxes is my go-to VM software when I need to quickly get a distro running. Gnome Boxes offers a simple way to create and manage your virtual machines with minimal hassle. While there are many amazing and mature VM software out there, Boxes stands out for its simplicity of use. Boxes actually lets you start a VM by just selecting a distribution from its list. It automatically downloads the ISO file, selects same defaults for it and boots it up. The endless hassle of configuring VMs is gone here. And if you want, those customization options are present here. You can even boot from your downloaded ISO files as well as install them as you want. So advanced users can use Boxes too. And using the Flatpak version really keeps your host and VM files separate and isolated. I'm sold. On number 5, we have Flatseal. Flatseal is a simple yet powerful application that gives you complete control over the permissions of all Flatpak apps installed on your system. With Flatseal, you can ensure your privacy and security by managing exactly what each app is allowed to do and not allowed to do. Flatpaks by design are much more secure and privacy respecting compared to traditional apps. 
they all run in a sandbox environment and are isolated from your system. Flat Seal adds another layer of protection on top of this. You can transparently see what permissions an app has and have full control over it. The options here are exhaustive and can be used to finely tweak what an app is allowed to do on your computer. Directory access, network access, devices like webcam, microphone, background running, GPU acceleration control, and so much more can be controlled with Flat Seal. If you use Flatpak applications, Flat Seal is a must have. Flat Seal becomes particularly important if you'll be installing proprietary apps. Alright, number 4 on the list, we have Kden Live. This is an absolutely incredible piece of software and it's an integral part of my workflow in making these videos. Kden Live is a powerful video editor. It is feature rich and perfect for video editing needs of all levels. What makes it particularly appealing is the simple to use interface. Compared to other distros, Kden Live is much easier to get started with because it's not intimidating to new users. Of course, you'll need to use it for a length of time to get used to all the features. But once you get a hang of using Kden Live, you'll be able to create fantastic videos. Kden Live has a good range of transitions and effects. For intermediate users, Kden Live provides a ton of video effects. It has 4K support and allows you to export videos in almost all formats and gives you full quality control. Kden Live also has hardware acceleration, so it's smooth and nimble experience throughout. While there's a plethora of video editors available on Linux like OpenShot and DaVinci Resolve, Kden Live will be the just right thing for most people. I love this software, definitely check it out. Want to run your Windows apps and games on Linux? Try Bottles. Support for Windows games and apps on Linux has improved significantly in the last few years. Today, we have many ways of installing and using Windows software on Linux, and Bottles is definitely one of the best. You can get Bottles from Flathub, installation command in the description below. Bottles automatically installs environments which are predefined combinations of ready to use settings, libraries, and dependencies. By default, we get gaming and software environments which are highly optimized for gaming and applications respectively. In my experience, this has been more than enough and games and apps have worked like they are running on Windows. But if you want to tweak, you can create custom environments and install your own versions of Wine, Proton or Soda. You can install Windows system components and even install a number of tweaks. All versions of .NET, Visual C++ redistributables are installable directly from Bottles. We also get extensive graphics and performance options for games. Once everything is set up, you can launch your apps and games from Bottles or even add them to your Linux menu. Bottles on Flatpak is also very safe because it's sandboxed. It completely isolates these Windows applications and their files from your system, so it never affects your Linux system in any way. Now this is a major advantage with Bottles. All in all, Bottles is the best way of running Windows software on Linux. Definitely check this out. Spotify is the world's biggest music streaming service. Although today we have hundreds of fantastic music apps, Spotify remains the top dog. Spotify offers an exhaustive music library that has everything you could possibly want to listen to. With over 70 million songs and 4 billion playlists, there's something for everyone on Spotify. You can find any genre of music you're looking for, from country to pop to metal and everything in between. Plus, with new songs and albums being added all the time, you'll never get bored with Spotify. One of the biggest highlights of Spotify is its amazing music recommendation system. Spotify's song recommendations are always spot on. It's like it just knows what you want to hear. While most other music services have the same quantity of music tracks, none come close to Spotify when the quality of music recommendations is concerned. Yeah, I'm including even the biggest music services. Spotify has always provided a native client for Linux, even way before the days of unified package managers. So that gets extra love for me. Go ahead and download it from Flathub and get grooving. WhatsApp Messenger is an essential part of everybody's life. The majority of all our personal communications happen through WhatsApp nowadays. It keeps us connected to our friends and family and it's an amazing app. And having a desktop client adds to this communication experience. Especially when you want to access documents and other files sent over WhatsApp. WhatsApp officially provides desktop clients for Mac and Windows but leaves out Linux. But no worries, we get a smooth WhatsApp client in Flathub. This is a wrapper for WhatsApp web and gives us a very consistent usage experience. This app works even if your phone is offline, so that's a great plus point. Talking features, both voice and video calls are not available here. I would have loved to have them too, but for now, this is okay. All the other features like sending audio messages, sending photos and other supported files work flawlessly. 
WhatsApp is definitely a must-have app for Linux as it lets you seamlessly keep chatting when you move from your smartphone to your computer and voice over sound. There you have it, 15 Flatpak apps that you definitely need to have installed on your system. These apps significantly enhance your computing experience. All these apps install and work the same on all the Linux distributions and the installation instructions are given in the description below. So definitely check them out and if you found this video useful, if you enjoyed it, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Next up, check out my comparison between Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and Fedora as we'll talk about some interesting topics in the video. Also check out my Patreon as there's some cool exclusive content coming soon. And if you're interested in learning advanced Linux with me, use the link in the description to know more about my coaching program Linux Mastery and book a free demo session with me. This is Linux Techs signing out.